Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope that you feel right at home, as each week I try to shine a light on people doing things and explaining how to do things in Godot. Hopefully, we can grow the Godot community together. Game Dev Journey Let's start off with some news regarding Godot 4. We are days away from the release candidate for Godot 4. Currently, the beta is in its 17th iteration, and the big changes in this release were reworking how the current camera 2D is determined, implementing audio blending into the animation tree, fixing multiple bugs in GDScript, as well as improvements to rendering and the shader preprocessor. I'm feeling confident that we'll see a stable release in March. Now, let's take a look at who's been doing interesting things in the Godot engine this week. Wotan Studios have been putting the beta releases of Godot 4 to the test by pushing them to their graphical limits with the test of a scenario straight out of the world of Doom. This is a super sci-fi scene with high resolution textures and intense lighting and reflections. It really does demonstrate just what the new Vulkan renderer built into the Godot 4 engine can do. It's really impressive and I'm looking forward to seeing more like this in the future. If you want to learn how file dialogues work in Godot 4, then mmm donuts has the tutorial for you. It covers all of the basics for using the Godot 4 file dialog. It goes over simple use of the file access object to store some strings, and at the end you will use some JSON class to store character data. This is a great file I.O. tutorial for those who want to get up and running with save systems in Godot 4. And I recommend subscribing to mm, Donuts channel because he's building up a library of Godot 4 tutorials right there. Another new channel, or at least new to me, is that of Godot World. The channel is full of short form programming tutorials which you can follow along in order to build up a game in Godot 4. There is a particularly interesting video on decoupling with lambdas and callables so that the player and the world can be used in isolation. The latest video deals with why sort and fixing collision detection. The creator at Godot World has a lot of passion for what they're doing and for Godot, so please support them with your subscription. On the shader front, Kadoink has made a tutorial for creating a fake water caustics shader. You can follow this tutorial and write your own shader which will give your scene that authentic underwater look with light refracting and only being focused in certain areas. It really helps to set the mood in a game. This shader is compatible with GLES 2. Kadoink also has another video showing you how to make a cutout shader. You can use this for transition effects between scenes. Please go to Kadoink's channel and subscribe so that we can get more tutorials like this. Finally, Bonkehi has a beginner tutorial out discussing material and resource instances. If you are just getting started in 3D, it's a good idea to understand how materials and resources in general are created and how they exist in Godot. Please click through and check out all the other tutorials on the channel because it's an excellent starting point for any newcomers to 3D in Godot 4. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you all again next time.